says Carl. What in the world is that? I mean, they've never seen anything like it. Hey, it's Jason with Denmark. Says something pretty cool today. It's a 1966 Impala station wagon. Really cool car. I've actually owned a lot of station wagons and they're just they're pretty hot rigs one of the favorite things i like about this though check this out real fast factory 396 when's the last time you saw 396 in a station wagon factory four barrel 325 horse so this thing uh gets up and scoots stanley likes it a lot taking them on a few little trips Hey, if you want to check out our website, it's Denworks, D-E-N-W-E-R-K-S. It's E-R-K-S. You can check us out on Instagram, Facebook, and just see what we're doing. When we get new rigs, we pop them on uh, Instagram uh, first. So if you want to take a sneak peek on uh, Bring a Trailer, what's coming up, you can see it there. And also, if you want to uh, do a consignment with me or something like that, or have me help you sell something, We'd be glad to help you just have to think like me and want to be able to show everything you know issues and you know if we need to make upgrades we can do that so we always want everyone to know what they're buying and stuff so anyways we'll just uh walk around in here i'm going to show you the lights uh first we'll go up here to the front i've actually got a little magnet uh today because the body work on this thing is not really hot um but it's not a bondo queen you can see here the the lights are working down there in the bottom headlights bright lights and the uh, blinkers we got left you know you think it beeps pretty simple you know just having lights work but on an old car there's always something something wrong so when you look down the side it's a little wavy you know it's got uh, some issues down there good thing it's in white but it does have some waviness uh, to it you know, it wasn't a expensive paint job by any means. But the nice thing is there's very little rust, a couple little bubbles. This is actually a really solid uh, wagon overall. If you look at the bumper, it actually looks in pretty good shape. But you'll see something got caught right down here on the bottom. A little tiny crack in that light. But overall, the grill is acceptable. It's got some little chips, little dings, little road rash but no damage in the front there no rust in the you know eyelid area here so car has plenty of little scratches and little dings and everything fender actually looks really good right here you can see a little nick from a filler actually not a lot of filler but you know like i have this little bag if you see this this is a little tiny little magnet there. It actually sticks on the car all over the place. You know that they just didn't block it out uh, very good. But it actually sticks real nice on the fender. You can hear that. It's not full of Bondo in general. So it'll just go across the bottom of the door. You know, and this is actually a really light magnet overall you can see a little bit of bondo there but it actually still sticks there and I'm sorry I'm gonna take a little bit of time just to do this while we're doing the video I think it's worth it to uh, whoever is buying it a little loose right there but not bad you can see here the they just didn't sand it very good go around the wheel I'll do the same thing on the other side a little loose right here again not horrible back here you'll see a couple little bubbles which is really common because of the where the muffler is the condensation but again you know it sticks all over you can see a couple little bubbles there a little loose right there in that area a little crack 
you know, I'm not going to go all over the rest because it, it sticks all over. I already know it, but um, it's got pretty uh, fairly new tires on it. It's got SS caps, which aren't correct, but they look good on it. And I think the tire size is 215.75.14, and I think the day code was 2014. If you look right there, one four, it's four digits, and the last four are the uh, the date. If you look at the windshield, not cracked or anything like that. You know, this is a numbers matching uh, 396. The VIN numbers on the motor, I'll show you as well. You can see a little ding here on the uh, the trim. The roof gutters actually look really good. There's not any signs of any rusting or anything around those. They actually look pretty good. Roof rack, you'll see a little pitting on the uh, rack on the chrome. Again, all the chrome has little tiny things wrong. One of the things that it, it needs is window felts. You can see here, they're actually missing in here all the way around the car and it needs the little little felts that go up inside here they're actually available um, i did check on them uh, but that'd be a great uh, winter project uh, for somebody you can get them at uh, steel rubber co um, you can get them there um, you'll see little scratches on the window hopefully you can see that someone really rich had it it's almost like they had a diamond ring or something like that but you know, obviously there's little scratches all over the side windows there. We'll walk around here to the back. Go ahead and rev it up a little bit. You know, it does sound really nice. It's got dual exhaust, true dual exhaust. It's actually pretty new as well. I like these little things you put your feet on to get up on the roof. You can see a little bit of body issues here, but again, it's not rusty. We'll go here at the bottom you know the magnet sticks all over the place it's got a power window that comes down go ahead and roll that window down it's a little bit slow sometimes you got to help it just a little bit it's actually being really slow today so the window works i like this little deflector here Go ahead and uh, let's see the lights. You can see our tail lights, brakes. We got blinkers. And the reverse lights I know don't work. You can see that. Um, it does have air shocks right here. Then you can see the license plate light. We got that working uh, too. So the reverse lights, I'm not sure exactly why they're not working in general. We'll just go on this side real fast and I'll just show you, you know, the magnet sticking. Again, the, the body work, look at the body work right here, but the magnet sticks there. You know, it's just, someone wasn't really good, but they, I think they tried, you know, so we gotta give them some credit there. You know, but the quarter panel is actually really good. I mean, listen, you know, it's actually really solid and again, Sorry it's taking me so long. A little loose right there. And they didn't smooth this out. There's a little filler there. You can see it kind of dropped right there. And again, the body works not great. You can see the, the original spot welds. A little ding right there. Yeah, we'll go at the bottom of the door here little crease started to beat my own car up but you know that's what we do so bottom of the fenders look good so overall i mean the car is great and yeah, it's just you know just needs a little bit of work in general the nice thing is you can see that trim's got dings and stuff in it the nice thing is the car is really solid underneath you know forward in the video if you want very 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 nice underneath this car you'll actually be pretty impressed so and again you know finding a 396 station wagon hard to find we'll show you some more stuff
show you underneath the hood real fast. There's a little lever right there and just pops up real quick. There it is. I mean, that is beautiful. 396, 325 horse turbo jet. And this is the original engine uh, to the car. You'll be able to see right here the VIN number six, or, uh, 126932. And that does match the VIN on the title and on the tag and the door jam. But it's a big thing having a numbers matching engine for sure. So there was a little bit of detail work. Um, they had painted it before I got it, the guy that had it. And we just touched it up just a little bit. But it's not a fresh rebuild or anything like that. I want to give that impression. I did put chrome valve covers on it because I thought it deserved it. And we put new uh, valve cover gaskets on it as well. New alternator. Um, you can see it's got power brakes. If you're wondering what this little unit is, it's kind of a... He, the guy that I got it from told me it was a factory uh, piece, and I actually uh, saw this on another car here recently. Um, but this is an air ride for this. Someone originally was going to pull a trailer or something like that, like a camping trailer. So, and this was real common for people to pull trailers with these back in the day. They didn't do it with, with uh, trucks that much. But this is an actual air ride system. And when I put it up on my lift, you're going to see um, some of the valves and stuff underneath. So, pretty cool. It's got all brand new brakes on it, new wheel cylinders. You can see the master's new. You can see it's got uh, really nice plug wires here, Taylor plug, plug wires. You know, the car just drives fantastic, even though I beat it up on the paint. I mean, I would hop in this thing and drive it uh, to California right now. So it's it's just a sweet old car. So we'll go ahead and uh, start it up real fast. You can see it's got its factory four barrel. Actually runs really nice. Rev it up a little bit. Of course, a little bit of a loose belt, you know, but we'll fix it. Not a big deal. So, we'll go ahead and uh, show you some more stuff. Also, it's got power steering. Nice off. Okay, we're going to take a look at the uh, interior real fast. Door shut. Pretty nice. You hear a little rattling because I showed you earlier that the uh, window felts and stuff and the little swipes aren't in there. But overall, the interior is actually really nice. Someone spent some money on this at some point, redoing the seat covers. I'm pretty sure these are, are redone. I couldn't imagine that those are original. Um, but it looks like it was done a little while ago. Uh, not perfect. Door panels, again, I mean, look at the door panels. Very nice, small fortune uh, spent in here in general. The carpet looks nice. You know, it does have a little dirty edges and stuff on it, but it is a correct loop uh, carpet. And Paula floor mats aftermarket. The dash pad looks pretty good. I love the turquoise in here. Really, really nice. You know, when someone put an aftermarket steering wheel on it, which I think is fitting. Uh, for the car in general. You see a little snag right there on the edge of the seat. The other thing we'll look at in here real fast is the headliner. Really nice headliner overall. You'll see a little bit of wrinkling right over there on that edge. You know, but overall no cuts or anything like that. The other thing we want to look at is there's no damage inside the uh, door jams. You can see the original VIN number 932 which matches the engine. Um, you can see right here, there's a little, little gasket uh, piece in here that's fished its way up there. So it still needs a little bit of uh, work, but you know, a lot of this stuff on the car in general, stuff that you can do during the weekend. You know, you could drive it around Saturday morning, take the cars and coffee, come home, tinker with it and enjoy it. But mechanically the thing just runs really, really good and I'd drive it anywhere. You can see the uh, door jam here, looks really good. You'll notice too that the, uh, the armrest, they recovered it in another kind of material. Look at the door panel back here. 
really nice. And these rubbers actually look fairly new going around the door, so I think someone's actually did those. We'll take pictures under, underneath the door so you can see them. We'll take a look back here real fast. This is a nine passenger. So it has the uh, seat back here, spare tire underneath here. We'll take that off here in a few and uh, take a picture for you. This seat does not fold down, it should. You can see there's a little bracket and it's missing a bottom part of the hinge over on this side. So right now it is stationary. If you look inside these jams, you can see the paint's a little grody in here, but uh, overall it's not rusty, you know, especially in here, that's what we're looking at. You know, it's really just a, a great old car. Down in here, it's not rusty or, or hit. We'll take a look on this side. In the interior looks nice. You'll see a little bit, if you look here, it needs to be cleaned off a little bit. A little bit of overspray from some paint that was in here. You can see people getting in and out and throwing stuff in the back. It's got little dings and scratches. Again, the door panels look really nice overall. Little snag right there on the seat. Got one right over there on that side. But again, the seat actually looks pretty good. Door jams and everything look nice. You'll see the little pitting on the uh, ashtray there. But look how nice the door shuts. You know, the panel gaps are all nice. Take a look at this side real fast. You know, you can see on the dash pad, a little bit of a white. They must have got just a little overspray. It's a little cleaning. Hopefully you can get some of that off there or maybe re-dye the top there. But overall, I think the interior looks great, especially for a driver. You know, this is a car that you can just get out uh, and enjoy. And it's a solid rig for sure. And I'll say it one more time, 325 car or uh, 396 with 325 horse. So anyways, we'll take a look at some more stuff. Aftermarket uh, steering wheel here, but the horn button's not working. Um, the lighter is not working. Wipers work. You can see that. And the, uh, you can hear the heater. It sounded like it went down to the bottom uh, there. So that seems like it's working here. You can see a temp gauge, aftermarket temp gauge. In the, uh, and I haven't tried it. No, I don't need a jump. <laughs> that's what, maybe, who knows. Uh, <laughs> that's my male lady. This here's not factory, I don't think, but it's a little pole thing. It's got a disc player, I haven't tried it. I don't even have a CD these days. There's a sticker, a CD changer uh, there. I would imagine it works, so. Um, anyways, that's a nice addition in there overall. The nice thing about this car, you know, I know some of the things aren't working here. The uh, Mechanically, we got it all pretty dialed in here. If you uh, look underneath there, there's the uh, thing for the uh, rear window, which is a little bit slow, but we'll uh, cruise it around. The nice thing is, it's got a lot of power, and it's really fun to cruise, for sure. You can 
step on it, it actually goes somewhere. You know, not super fast, but a lot of power for sure. Three speed transmission, turbo uh, 400. We'll go ahead and uh, put the brakes on. She stops pretty nice and straight, floats a little bit, not a lot of shake in the steering wheel. It just stopped pretty straight there. So we'll uh, cruise it around a little bit more and uh, show you some more stuff. take a look at the Impala underneath. We like to do videos of uh, obviously the outside and do them underneath for sure. It just gives me a chance to point out different things, things you wouldn't normally see in a photo. It's actually really clean underneath here, you know, um, really, really clean actually. We'll uh, take the tires off so you can see the brakes. They've all been redone. They look really nice. Um, it's got new cylinders and stuff on it. You can see the shocks look great. And I believe it had front springs and rear springs uh, in it. Just a little dirt on these, but they're actually really shiny. Up here we're looking no accident damage or anything like that. It actually looks pretty nice. In general you can see there's no weird wear on the tires. Engine's been painted. It was like that when I got it. Um, I did put the valve covers and stuff like I mentioned before, but really no oil leaks or anything like that. Looks like the tranny's been serviced in the uh, recently. There was no leaks or anything like that, and the gasket looks fairly new that I can see up there. You know, maybe a couple years old, but uh, looks really good. Look at the exhaust. Really nice exhaust on this car. Frame looks all good. Down here in, on the uh, rockers look very good. You can see all the original spot welds. Look very, very clean. Check out the original floors. You know, this car definitely has a lot of good points and it's bad points, you know, obviously was the paint and stuff, but you know, it's better than a really nice looking paint job with a really bad structure. You know, this is really important. Here, look at the floors here again really really nice again you're looking at the rockers one of the reasons these were saved is because there's little drains that you can see right here you know when those get clogged your rockers start rusting out we'll take a look back here in the back transmission there also is a uh, turbo 400 12 bolt rear end bolts around there but this is kind of cool this is this original um, the uh, air ride that was on it you can see the uh, valves and everything and different hoses you can see there's there's a little hose right here you can see that it's got air shocks on it now aftermarket air shocks I don't know if you could get the um, the original unit uh, running again but Everything's back here pretty much. There you can see the original or the uh, new springs in the back and the shocks. No leaking in the rear end, so we didn't mess with that. Back here, gas tank. You look at the bottom, back side of the trunk drop off. Looks really good up inside there. You know, this is an er another area that gets pretty rusty, and you will see a couple little pinholes right there in the bottom of the uh, spare tire area. But overall it looks pretty good. Again here you can see some of the filler edges on the bottom of the quarters. 
You can see a little bit of the waviness. It was really hard to uh, take pictures of this car. But you can see a little bit of waviness here. And you can see a couple little bubbles that I mentioned earlier right there. We'll just take a look at the other side uh, real fast here for you. You know, again, you can just see down low some of the, the waviness, but a couple little tiny bubbles there. But, you know, the great thing about this car is you can hop in, drive it. Really fun to drive and gets up and goes. I mean, 396 uh, cars don't grow on trees, so pretty neat. You can see a couple little bubbles and a little bond line right there. So, anyways, if you got questions, uh, give us a jingle. Would be glad to answer. We can, uh, you can make comments on the auction and just have fun bidding. It is no reserve and good luck.